That's not good. This poor truck has been sitting since about 2018 when I moved here. It was at one time pretty clean. I sandblasted the frame about eight years ago, repainted everything, uh, redid the timing chains, the spin guides. Um, and then it just kind of sat when I moved and I haven't touched it for six years, but we're gonna get it running. The gas tank, it's got a little hole in it. Uh, it had about four or five gallons of rain in it. And then this pressure line started to rust out. So we got a new tank, we got a new gas pump sending unit. We're gonna get that swapped out, see if she'll fire up. Well, as we expected, all the nuts rounded off from rust. And some of them are snapping off, some of them coming out with electrics, but we're getting through it. The only reason we've been doing this is so I can get that fuel pump out. And unfortunately for it, it's been sitting in rain for the past few years. So it's a little rusty, but it does pump. I know that much. I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up and see if I can get it going again. It ain't great, but it's a lot better than it was. I'm gonna slap that into this hanger right here, pop that into the new tank, and then see if it'll fire up. The new gas tank hanger does not come with this adapter piece, so make sure you do not throw that away with the old one like I almost did. Not good. Last time I tried running it, there was a bunch of water in the tank. So now that's probably all throughout the fuel system. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the pump with this power supply until I get pure gasoline coming back up to the return line. And then I'm gonna connect everything up. And hopefully it'll fire it up. That ain't gasoline. I don't know if this will show up on camera, but as I tilt it, you can see that water at the bottom of the gas tank has already separated from the gasoline. So that means that the lines are all perched and it should be ready to start. Cold start injector is bypassed right now, so it might take a little bit of cranking to get it to fire. And it might take a jump. Uh, we'll start fluid at the top. So it runs on starter fluid, so something probably isn't telling the injectors to fire. <laughs> wondering where all the light went and why the plug wires were moved and why isn't it, hasn't it moved yet and why is there a garden hose well got a phone call took the phone call while it was on the phone this continued to siphon gasoline into the intake uh filled the intake up with gas which filled the cylinder with gas hydraulic the motor and pulled the plugs turned the motor over shot some gas out and well i think you can get through but all right so we got her in the shop first things first gonna do new battery so i can stop jump starting it gonna do a compression test new plugs i broke one of the plug wires pulling that off so i gotta get new plug wires uh probably will bore scope the cylinders while i got the plugs out just to make sure everything's all right down there. Um, it's running. I don't think it's firing the injectors because it only runs when I got the gas can hooked up to the vacuum line. I had a power supply on the fuel pump, uh, 12 volt power, power supply, driving that directly and it still wouldn't run off the in-tank fuel. So, and that's fresh, brand new fuel I just bought yesterday. So, I don't know why it's not firing injectors either. I think this, has to, and I checked that, that moves freely. So that has to detect airflow, I believe, before it'll fire the injectors. Uh, there may be some fuse over here that's blown that's not telling the ECU to fire the injectors. But luckily, distributor-based system, it is getting spark. So just no fuel. So we'll figure that out. And then we'll start tackling, bringing this thing back to its former glory. I do still have the bed for this truck. 
Uh, it's, I had it sandblasted and I got a new fender for it. Uh, this truck was actually rolled one time on its side, so it's got some damage right here. That's gonna be fun to pull out. It's got some dents up here. It slid on the side of the cab. I've got new doors for it. Uh, the fenders, I never resprayed when I changed them, so they're gonna have to get either completely stripped down back to bare metal or replaced, but they're also dented from me four wheeling it back in the woods. So probably just grab some new ones. Um, sucks, but it is what it is. And this truck has just a body lift. I don't know if I'm still sold in the body lift, but might uh, be a lot of work to take it back out. It's a, it's a tall body lift. I think it's like a three inch. Uh, it'd be a lot of work because you got to shorten the steering column. I'd have to take the steering column back out. I welded an extension in there to extend the steering column. You have to do that. Uh, you have to extend the shift linkages. Uh, I never liked the way that the shift boots fit after doing the body lift. And that'd be really the only way or the only reason to take it back out. Um, Cause I don't mind the way it looks. And it did give me clearance to mount the winch under the front bumper. Disregard all the mold. Um, but this winch now broke that full wheeling. So even that's got to get fixed up. A lot of work ahead of me. I know that there's some kind of relay in here under the ECU. I need to check as well. Sometimes that can stop the injectors from firing. Um, I gotta check, I might be able to rob one from the 4Runner uh, because that's getting standalone in a 2J. So not gonna need that in that car anymore. Um, but if you have any ideas as to why it's not getting fuel at this point, this truck ran when parked uh, about two, three, two years ago, maybe two, three years ago. Uh, it didn't run great, but it ran. Um, the cold start injector, like I said, is unplugged um, just because that wire was burned up in the harness when I had the truck apart years ago. Um, I rewrapped the harness, but I never replaced the cold start injector. So that one is still possibly bad. I never um, checked it. I'll go ahead and probably check that at some point to see if it does actually still work and it's not shorted out and causing that wire to get really hot. But if you have any ideas, drop them in the comments, help me out, because uh, I need it at this point. <laughs> That's all for now, thank you.